So Sandy's here with us today. Hi everyone. <laughs> and Gabby's here. And something we've been working on for a while is the Gabby cam. So we've got a harness. We've got it. We've tried hanging it from her collar that just swung around and made her nuts. Nope. So now we've got a pouch on a harness for her to wear that'll be very stable. The only problem we're having is she's not real happy about it. Come on, Gabby. So we're going to try and get her to be comfortable come in this here, harness. Come here. Okay, stay, sit. 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 Can you sit, Gabby? Gabby, okay. sit. Stand. Come on, now <laughs> stand. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, I love you too. Right. All right. Here, trust me. Okay, wait, wait, sister. Uh, she, oh my gosh. Come here. I've tried this myself, and she just kind of sat there and looked at me like I was the meanest person Good in the girl. world. Oh, good. Okay, there's one. Let's get there's this one. one. Okay. There's two. There we okay, go. Don't let her move. I got her. Okay. <laughs> okay, sister. <laughs> hold She's still, twisting. Gabby. <laughs> She's twisting. Okay, wait. Hold still, Gabby. Yeah. Hold still. Are we still on? We're okay. on. It's probably twisted. <laughs> okay. All right, sit. <laughs> <laughs> sit. Stay. Is she chewing your fleece? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. There, All right. We got there. it. There we go. Okay. So. Oh, boy. oh look. She's happy. She's happy. All right, well, let's put the camera. Oh, Gabby, Gabby, no. <laughs> okay, well, let's put a camera. All right, well, we're going to see how well this works. Here, have another treat. <laughs> oh, boy, what a good girl you are. Oh, isn't that great? Yes, yeah, she's right. a good puppy. Okay, let's go. Come okay. Oh, that's going to be some awesome footage there. This will be fun. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, it, it still seems to be swinging. Yeah. Okay. When she stands still, it should be aiming forward. It might make her make everybody dizzy. <laughs> it might. <laughs> but Gabby'll be fine. Come yeah, on, I know go. that the footage that we had of uh, that was on her collar was nothing but just swinging wildly blurry. <laughs> you couldn't tell what it was. So yeah. we're gonna see how this works. Right. Oh yeah, we're gonna get to see everything she sniffs. Oh, oh, <laughs> Sam already up the trail. Yeah. She's being so good about it. Yes. Yeah, so good. But it is swinging very loose. Yeah. I gotta see if I can tighten it up a little. You are a good girl. She seems to be okay with it. I got, got it up away from the door. Okay, let's try that. Okay. Here's your see, stick. Now she's walking funny again. <laughs> <laughs> she she she's used to it here. Yeah. Let's try. Okay, you see this? storm damage. Yeah, wow, look at that. Sure yeah, and then uh, this here, that's broken. Sure is. Oh, goodness. I just what noticed that, that because of that X and the 1. Yeah. Well, that's kind of interesting, too. And then mm -hmm. look, I was just looking at this. Oh, mm-hmm. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> she hears Sam's flute. See now, right now, they'll be getting some good footage. <laughs> it's Sam out uh -huh. here. <laughs> Look at her. She's <laughs> she yeah. is. Hey, See right Prancer. there, that's going to be a good shot from her camera. Hey, Prancer. Hey, Dancer. What are you doing? Is Sam up there? Oh, look at it swing. <laughs> <laughs> no. Unless she's standing still. Oh, look at that. She just this, about walked into it. This one here? Yeah. It's way in there. That wasn't there the other day. That's not Wasn't storm it? related, no. Hmm. That is a new one. It's not in there. Wow, quite some distance too. Yeah. No, that wasn't part of the storm. Well, I think this is definitely progress. She has accepted the harness. That's very good. 
Yes. I was hoping that the distraction of having her beloved Sandy here would help with that. Because <laughs> come across. Oh, well, this must be storm here. Look at the roots are up. Yeah. I haven't walked over it here since. A dead tree, but my is it blocking the trail completely? Yeah, it certainly is. It looks like. Look at her. She's zoned in on something over there. Oh, the tree. Look at the tree blocking our way now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at her. She's checking things out. Things are different out here. That's a nice couple of trees. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I guess we go under now. I know I'm going under. <laughs> It'll be a lot easier for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm shorter. You over. <laughs> That's not too bad. Ah. Just yeah, just watch your eyes when you come up on this side. Right. Oh, there's another one over there. Holy cow. So normally we go that way. Look at wow. the mess over here. Yeah. Honey, look at how it's laid out over the log. And it took another one down over there. Wow. Yeah, okay, yeah. I would say these are definitely storm trees here. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Gone? Yeah, here it is. It's right here. It probably got knocked off in this tangle. Okay. Yeah. The stitches I had made attaching it just pulled right out. Alright. Well, I think this was a good experiment for today. I will maybe figure out a better way to attach this. And who knows, maybe we got something good on that little uh, 10 minute or so clip we've got in there. We're back out here to restock and it doesn't look like much has happened since I was here last. The sweet potatoes are getting nibbled on. Oh, that does look like a flat tooth there, doesn't it? Small flat tooth. Let's see, right there, can you see that? Huh. I kind of assumed it would be rodents, yes. You know, that looks more like rodent teeth or raccoon teeth right there. Yeah. Not a whole lot of interest in those, but apparently something's hungry enough. So, over here, we've still got our jar of peanut butter in the bucket. Ooh, hello. There's an interesting leaf underneath it. Huh. All right, we're going to clean it up and get it restocked, and then uh, we're going to tell you about another interesting leaf. Okay, so we got it all set up again. I'm in a bit of a hurry because I'm running out of juice here, and Sandy and I have things we want to tell you about. So in here, I have a pie, a blueberry pie, that I didn't get a chance to bring out last week. So it's a little old, but it's not moldy or anything. So. But then we've added a fresh pumpkin pie in here uh, uh, for Thanksgiving. And no room for apples, so I hung a banana. And then uh, my apples, since there's no room in the bucket, I've gone ahead and I'm going to leave them in this plastic bag just hanging from this tree right here. And those are uh, some uh, organic, uh, what are they, Granny Smiths, I think? All right, now Sandy has done some stuff over here. Show me what you got. Well, I just heaped those up, those sweet potatoes that nobody seems to want. These are frozen. This is frozen on here. Okay. You just sliced up some fresh sweet potatoes. Yeah, we'll And just I say leave they need there. butter and brown sugar. <laughs> yeah, they do. That's <laughs> why they're not touching them. Put your little pink 
animal there. I turned the peanut butter lid upside down because of the red. In case somebody's walking through, I don't want the red to oh, stand Oh, okay, up. good idea. Um, your bell's here, your, the little ball's still here, and the shell is on the rock. Cool, and um, unfortunately, your... I forgot to bring honey. Oh. <laughs> and there's oh. your little um, elk or deer, your bear, two leaves. I put two leaves together, and there's a reason that well, okay. I did it that way. And then the fir, the um, fir tree frond that fell down. All right, cool. All right. All right, so we're going to tell everybody about the leaf thing that, okay. that we think is pretty cool. It is. So I, I'll show you a picture of the actual leaf when we're done here. But this would have been Monday night. I need to interview you. Yes, you do. <laughs> tell us what happened on Monday evening and what you were doing. Okay, so uh, I got home. It was probably 10 o'clock or so. There was no wind, no storm. It was a very calm night. Uh, this was, let's see, I got back from the summit on Sunday. So this would have been the, my second night home back at the cabin. So I go in and I sit down and my window in my bedroom is only, I can only open it just like an inch and a half or the cat will squeeze out through there. So I always keep it latched. Uh huh. <laughs> and, uh, okay. <laughs> I'm scanning the forest. Okay. <laughs> so uh, um, I'm sitting there and there's a little uh, stool that sits right in front of the window that the cat likes to sit on to look outside. So everything is quiet. I'm watching TV and all of a sudden this leaf, which is very similar to this one, just shoots through the window, that inch and a half gap. And I mean, that way it was mm -hmm. flying horizontally through. It came about a foot, foot and a half out into the so, bedroom. Tell us, show us your hands. How, how big was the gap? Oh, the gap is maybe that wide. Just okay. big enough that, you know, to let some fresh air in. From the window to the yeah. cell or yeah. the frame. Yeah. So very small. Very small. Not okay. enough for the cat to get her head through. Okay. Yeah. So all of a sudden this leaf shoots out right there in front of me. The cat, she's sitting on the stool. She leans back and she's looking at this leaf like, holy cow, you know, how cats are. Yes. And then Gabby, she's under the bed. She comes scooting out from under the bed. She's got her nose up to the cracked open window. She starts, you know, doing her little carrying on thing. She's, she's wiggling. Her tail is going. She's whining. It's like, I want to go outside. And it's like, no, it's too cold. We are going out tonight. But anyway, I, I took that as, as a sign. They, they just popped that little leaf straight through the window like that just to let me know they were still around and, you know, maybe had survived the storm okay. It was pretty exciting. Uh, one thing that's interesting to add on to that is the next morning I went to pick the leaf up and the stem part of it, right here, mm -hmm. the stem, I grabbed hold of it by this and it actually made my fingers greasy. And, uh, yeah. That's very cool. Yeah, I thought that was a little odd. Yeah. So I have saved it. It's back at the cabin. I'll show you a picture of it. But it, yeah, it was very similar to this leaf here. So did you hear anything? I did. I heard, you know, just a little bit of scuffling outside. Uh, you know, nothing distinct. No, nothing like foot stomps? No. Any no, whistles? Um, there may have been a few clacks, you know, like maybe something in the in the creek or, the, or mm -hmm. something. But, you know, it, it's got water running in it now. Right. So it wouldn't have been like raccoons down in there playing unless they just knocked okay. something loose on the bank. But still, I don't think a raccoon could literally shoot Do a <laughs> a leaf through the window. Yeah, because your window is about how far off the oh, ground? Oh, it's a... Uh, uh, I can't see into it. It's way over my head when I'm outside. All so right. it's probably at least seven, eight feet up from okay. the ground outside to the point where the leaf blew in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So did you happen to go out the next morning to look around? I did. Window? Okay. I did. And, you know, there's just so much storm debris out there and all the other leaves that I, I couldn't, couldn't identify anything. anything. Yeah. Okay. And also that's part of Gabby's little racetrack when she races sure. her house. So, yeah. Yeah, anything that's torn up in that little pathway, you got to chalk up to Gabby. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That is very interesting. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, very cool. So Any odor? Nothing. Nothing. Nope. No odor. Nope. Just okay. the leaf shooting through. There was a little bit of noise mm -hmm. outside, but nothing identifiable. The cat's reaction was priceless. Right. The way so she just leaned back like, yeah. what the what heck? The and heck? then Gabby flying out from under the yeah. bed, putting her nose up there and getting all wiggly. And, right. you know, sometimes raccoons climb that tree. And she gets really agitated when it's a raccoon. She runs back and forth to the door, to the window, and she whines mm -hmm. and she whimpers and she carries on. But, uh, yeah, there's no wiggling involved when it's raccoons. <laughs> and so was the cat on the bed? No, the cat was sitting on the stool, the stool right, right underneath the open window. So maybe Gabby responded to her reaction, the maybe. cat's reaction? Well, the cat didn't make a sound. 
and just you the, know, and she Gabby can't yeah. see the window or the, where the cat from where she was oh, under the okay. bed either. So well, she must have just got a whiff. She sensed, she sensed it or smelled them or there. something. Yeah, and she wanted to go play. She did. She was so <laughs> excited. <laughs> and mom wouldn't let her out to play. I wouldn't. No. <laughs> I'm just a terrible mom. Figures. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to let her out to play. I want to go out too, and I was too cold and tired. Oh, oh. <laughs> I should have talked to you. She was laying there. You're so yeah. adjusted to your harness. She's I'm so being so proud good. of yes, you. Yes, she is. What a good girl you are. Yeah. yeah. Now I think we could just figure out a way to stabilize it and maybe make use of it when she's already a little wore out, not yeah. so excited and bouncing around. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what a good girl. Yeah, we'll keep working on hey, it. Hey, there's your honey cap. Yeah. You've looked at that one already? Are you getting that face on camera there? Oh, no, I'm looking at the honey cap. Come back, do it again, Gabby. Be yeah. cute, Gabby, be, be cute. cute. <laughs> Show us how pretty you are. Come on. Oh, she's got her stick. She's yeah. got her stick. All right. All right, let's cool. go do some investigation. Come on, Gabs. Yeah. Cool. You ready? <gasps> <laughs> I missed that one too. Did you? Dang it, I only got part of it. <laughs> okay. Yeah.